my master's thesis on the technology integration in Billings Public Schools in 1990. And at that time, teachers were lucky if they had one Apple IIe in their classroom. And it was used usually by the teacher, rarely by the kids. If it was used by the kids, it was used as a game center or a math game or a reading game center or something like that. Thank goodness times have changed. Take a trip to Newman Elementary School, where you will find an excited group of second graders and their equally excited teacher, Julie Shop. I'm Julie Shop, and I teach second grade at Newman School, and this is my 20th year of teaching. Having taught for many years in the district, Julie's career has been reinvigorated by, yep, you guessed it, technology. Julie's class is one of the few classrooms around the district that gets to take full advantage of all that technology has to offer through the use of one-to-one -one devices. The thing that makes Julie's class so unique is that this veteran teacher made it all happen through persistence, patience, and the creative use of philanthropy. We have um, eight Chromebooks and two on the way from Donors Juice. I have a one-to-one um, -one iPads. Um, a lot of them I had help from a friend of mine who donated money and um, she bought a couple of iPads for me and that's how I caught the iPad, iPad bug and I was on a quest to get a class set in a, over a period of two years. She would donate a little bit of money, I would plug it into Donors Choose projects and so my friend Donna and Donors Choose I probably got maybe 15, 16 from there and I got three of them from an Education Foundation grant last year, and a few of them I bought myself on Craigslist. While some might shy away from the enthusiasm of second graders, Julie maintains a peaceful, well-organized classroom yeah. environment through careful planning and differentiation. Because of the data made available through the technology she integrates into her curriculum, she is able to hone in on the needs of her students and quickly address their needs. Um, I like when I can look at a score on a, on a report and go, oh my gosh, that child needs me to pull them back to the table and work on this or that. And I have a lot of small group stuff going on for every subject. It's for writing, math, and reading. It used to be just reading groups. Now I'm having writing groups. I'm having math groups. Because my technology is helping me see where there's holes and I can fill them in. So one might ask, how do you incorporate all of this technology into a classroom? Um, well, we use iPads for things like Moby Max and extra math and, and some drill and practice things. We use it for um, writing. So we're, today we're going to be dra drafting on paper and they're going to be going to um, Google Docs first to write um, their paper and use a spell checker and the research tool to import a picture. And then they have the option of using the Chromebook or the iPad to um, copy their Google Doc, to select it, copy it, and paste it into their kid blog. In order to develop these mathematicians, readers, and writers, Julie maintains a strong balance of both digital and analog experiences. They have a blog of their own, and there's a lot of ownership in that because they get to they get to do um, free blogging sometimes, and they get to anything they want to publish that they write here in my class, anything is up for publication on their blog. So uh, they have, some of my kids have 15, 16 posts on their blog and we've only been doing it for about a month. So that's pretty impressive. While Julie has seen big changes over the course of her career, one thing remains the same. The students still want to We're learn. Writing about our favorite restaurant and um, my favorite restaurant is Texas Roadhouse, so I'm typing about Texas Roadhouse. So tell me, how did you start this project? Um, well, if you go up here, how I got that, it didn't... And I wanted to do it is because they're so excited to use any technology that it engages them. They're immediately, they don't say, how many pages do I have to write, Mrs. Shop? They say, do we have to stop, Mrs. Shop? Can we write again, Mrs. Shop? And I'm like, oh, I've hooked them. They're hooked on it. So to me, it was a hook to get them interested in the writing. Process. They, they want to write all the time. Thanks, Julie, for all you do to help create the future dreamers and leaders of Billings.